perfect landing. As always. There's a better widen- And now? The white noise and some And, uh, Now it just skips. Oh! What did you just do? I did nothing at all. Then keep on doing nothing. I think the image just got clearer. Okay, I think it's- Are you ready? Waiting isn't going to make things easier, so let's get this out of the way. Uh, Mom? Arena listening? Uh, Mom? You? Is that you? Uh, yeah. Me and Kay. Hello. Where are you two? Are you doing okay? Uh, we're on Source. Oh no. Did you really make it to Source? You need to leave right away. The council has ordered Hornet drones to be sent on your trail. Yeah, we know that. We have, uh, taken care of it. <sighs> you are completely insane. They started it. It's even worse than I thought. What? What? What is worse? Can you just tell me what's happening? <sighs> After you disappeared, the council issued an advisory notice about you. That was a bad idea. People started to imagine things, that you might have managed to fall off the apiary's radar. That you might be starting a new life together in outer space against the decisions of the matchmaker. And? That's pretty accurate. That's the issue. You two have become a symbol. People are talking about following your lead. The council cannot allow this to happen. And then there was this signal coming from a supposedly abandoned planet. Listen, you need to come home immediately. I can fix all of this. I can placate Lord Ozius. What? Why Lord Ozius? Because he's furious. What did you expect? I don't understand. Don't tell me that you're not aware. Aware of what? There are a lot of things that we weren't aware of. Here's a random one. Source was colonized. <sighs> Yes, that is another... You weren't supposed to see that. See what? <sighs> what have you seen? Quit stalling. What happened on Source? Why aren't people aware of what happened in this colony? Why is everything deserted? Okay. Yes, Exanova has contributed to the settlement of a colony on Source. At the time, I was only vice president. And no one knows because it happened differently. Rather than integrating the planet to the apiary, they decided to make a... A sort of... an external call. What does that mean? It means that they only came in to plunder the fl It's a little more complex than that. Uh-huh. But yes, broadly speaking, that's... Exanova had just completed work on a new experimental power plant. Its drill could extract flow directly from the planet's core, then the flow was condensed to make transport easier. Huh. That seems dangerous. As long as the plant is properly maintained, it's safe. And then? The plant was not properly maintained. After about 30 years, the infrastructure started to... The president of Exanova at the time figured that replacing it would be too costly. Well, you saw the end result. The rust? I'm sorry? The rust. That red stuff. It's everywhere. Oh, that. Sure, kind of. But what I meant was the explosion. The capacitor tank started to develop a crack. The flow became unstable, which triggered a chain reaction into the core. Did you... Hold on. You precipitated the explosion of an entire planet just for some flow? It's 
an unfortunate chain of events which... And the people. The people who lived and worked on Source. What happened to them? Most of them were evacuated, but some weren't so lucky. I would love to give you more details, but you don't have a lot of time. The Council has decided to make an example of you. If they catch you here, there's nothing I can do for you. But if you come back now, I could probably smooth things over. We'll match you up with your respective mates. We'll get you to read a disclaimer letter. We'll make something up. Everything will be back to normal. What if we don't want it to be back to normal? I understand your frustration. I remember my younger years. But you must also think about others in the long run. The matchmaker may not be the best system, but it's the least bad that we found. Do you want to go back to the days of the Mark? Recreate the inequalities that the Elders have worked so hard to erase. You really think you're much happier now? That's great. But your selfishness has already left two other people in the dust. So now, can you imagine if everyone did what you did? Everyone would be happier. Of course not. Sure, everyone loves to complain about the matchmaker every now and then, but everyone is a lot more scared of what the alternative might be. The matchmaker is a guarantee. It ensures what we are building together will not crumble beneath our feet. The promise of a future. Durable, everlasting. Can you say that you'll hold that promise? Absolutely. We love each other. But you will also love your mates. And they will love you back. Love does not have to be a large fire which consumes everything. You have to build it. You have to keep it alive. Just like the chimney fires in fairy tales which keep us warm in the winter. Isn't that kind of love at least as beautiful as yours? Huh. You. Have you ever in your life had to question the love that your mother and I had for each other? Was it any less than the one that you share? No, but... Love is greater and more complex than you can imagine. Love always finds a way. You will always find a way as well. We'll have to act fast to clean up your mess. Our mess. What mess? Is love a mess? Living together, is that a mess? You know very well that's not what I meant, Kay. No, I do not. Come on, you. Let's go. No, wait, you can't! I'm sorry I insisted on contacting her. I didn't think that... I know. I'm used to it. Kay. <sighs> do you mind if we go back to the nest? I'm not really feeling up, up to anything. You know what? You're right. Let's go home. Okay, you haven't said a word the whole trip back. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's just a lot to take in. I can't believe my mom hid all this from me this whole time. Get in here. At least now we know that's what we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. There's still one thing I don't really understand. She mentioned Lord Ozius at one point. I don't understand what that Boron has to do with all this. He's too young to have been involved in the whole secret colony thing. I mean, sure, he's pretty tight with the council, but I still don't get how this is any of his business. I, I, I 
think I know. Oh yeah? You promised that you won't get mad. What? Why would I get mad? It's about the guy I was matched with. Who cares about that guy, though? Right. Oh, I mean... Hold on. Are you telling me that Ozius is your partner? Um... Ozius? The Ozius. Blute hole in chief. The very one. And you are telling me now... You promised you wouldn't get mad. I'm not getting mad. But you... Still, this is one of the most influential and demented people in the apiary. You never considered that I might find this tidbit to be important? I was scared you would change your mind if I told you. I might have changed my mind, yes. Fleeing the apiary is one thing. But Lord Ozius is a maniac. You humiliated him by refusing the match. He'll never give up on us. I humiliated him? We left together in case you missed it. It was your idea. Because I'm the one who was being matched with a psychopath. Yes. Please explain how it's my fault. All I'm saying is that you could have told me. It's also a matter of establishing trust, you. You know, just five minutes ago, you were complaining about your mom hiding stuff from you. But you're doing the exact same to me. Obviously, you got that from her. Yeah, well, I have no idea who you're taking after, but I understand why they no longer wanted you. Wow. Seriously? Couldn't pick a better angle? Oh, knock it off! You can't just play the orphan card every time. Wow. Just... Wow! I thought I knew you better than this. Uh, go bloat yourself, you and your high horse. You should go back to the apiary if you're unhappy. I may just do that. You'll have to figure out how to get back there on your own, though. Don't count on me to be your chauffeur. Oh, no problem. I wasn't about to ask you for anything. Great. Perfect. Okay, you 
You. You won. I, I can't stay mad at you. Come back. Let's talk about this calmly. You? some help. Have you seen you? Nod your head if he went that way. You don't understand me, dude. That's all right. Are you there? But really, it was kind of your fault as well. Okay. Please. Come back. Loot. Okay. Everything's fine. I'm alive. But you. If anything happened to him, I'll... I guess there's nobody else it could be.